One day, three rallies, four interviews, and enough questionable statements to cover them all. Trump on violence on the campaign trail. How many people have been injured at my rallies? Zero. Zero. False. Certainly most of his rallies are peaceful, but the pictures lately are indisputable. No serious injuries, but people have been hurt. And I don't condone violence. Perhaps that is a matter of opinion. I'd like to punch him in the face. Knock the crap out of him, would you? Seriously. Trump on a quarter of the world's 1.6 billion Muslims who he says want to go to war. It was something like 27 percent are, you know, really very militant about, uh, you know, going after things. False. Intelligence analysts say it's more like a tiny fraction of 1 percent who are interested in jihad. Trump on the Iran nuclear deal. We give a terror nation, Iran, $150 billion. We get nothing. We get nothing. False. Even if you put aside the downsizing of their nuclear program, Iran will merely get access to its own assets frozen overseas, not U.S. taxpayer money. Trump on a lawsuit over his business school. They're trying to get money. I don't settle cases. False. They may indeed be trying to get money, but Trump has settled some lawsuits. And... I never went bankrupt. I never went bankrupt. That's true in his personal finances, but false for his casino businesses, which have filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy four times. Many politicians, including Trump's Republican and Democratic rivals, sometimes make deceitful statements. But in speech after speech, debate after debate, Trump has made many statements that are false or misleading. And it happens when he goes after his opponents, too. Trump on Marco Rubio. He's weak, very weak on illegal immigration, wants to give amnesty to everybody. False. Rubio helped draft legislation to let those who entered illegally earn citizenship, but that's not blanket amnesty, and it's certainly not for everyone. Trump on Ohio Governor John Kasich. We have a man that voted for NAFTA. NAFTA's destroyed Ohio. False. Economists readily admit Ohio and the rest of the Rust Belt has suffered, but widely disagree about whether NAFTA is to blame, many saying the recession is more at fault. Trump on Ted Cruz. He was a Canadian citizen until 16 months ago. Cruz was born in Canada, giving him automatic citizenship, which he says he was unaware of most of his life and has renounced. But Cruz also had an American mother, making him a U.S. citizen, which Trump fails to mention. And Trump on the polls. I lead with Hispanics. I lead with women. I lead with, uh, you know, very well-educated. Maybe in some small parts of some places, but overall, no. A single day, all those falsehoods and accusations. Well, that is politics. I mean, I say bad things about people, and they say bad things about me. And this is true. For Trump, it is working. Tom Foreman, CNN, Washington.